Hey everyone, welcome to a Goody Reader unboxing video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we have the Remarkable Marker Signature Pen. This is the new pen that they just released. It's different from the stock pen um, in terms of like the industrial design. And today we're just gonna unbox it and show you everything that comes inside. So this comes in a very nice box. It says it's uh, designed in Oslo, Norway. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's where they're based. Of course, made in China though, so that's fine, as most consumer products are. This box is very tight, and it's a very hard card stock. It's not thin, it, and it's very airtight. So that's what comes in the box. The inside is nicely white. It's not all brown and cardboardy. So you get some replacement nibs in here, and they will be the black color. And that's uh, important because the stock Remarkable Pen nibs are white. So if you have uh, the white nibs or the black nibs it will matter so we'll just go ahead and show you guys they've always been very nice at displaying it so you get your removal rem removal tool on one side and then all your nibs in the middle in this little uh, little container and that's actually really cool so are all all the nibs are they the same size yeah they're all the same size and they're in their individual slots so as you run down and you're almost out you know to maybe go buy some more and you'll have the quantity count on the outside there so just put that there. So this pen, um, we actually, it's made out of anodized aluminum, so it's actually a little bit heavier than the stock one. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the stock pen is 12 grams, and this new one is 18 grams, so it's heavier, and that maybe will contribute to more of a tectonic feel when you're totally. actually drawing on a screen. So there is some differences, and we're actually gonna bring the stock Remarkable Pen in the shot because we're gonna show you guys some differences in the two. So you see that the stock Remarkable Pen doesn't have an eraser button or any sort of button at the back. It's a little slot, like a shotgun shell uh, uh, chamber for a replacement nib. So if you've forgotten your nibs and you're on the, you know, the, the event floor at a conference, you can always pop in a new nib if you want a better feel. There's also no buttons and no lapel clip either on the stock pen. And as Mike says, it's made out of plastic. This one is pure metal, it's aluminum, you do have a, a clicker at the bottom, and it's very interesting because not only does it click down with pressure, it clicks and it stays clicked. Unlike the stock Remarkables pen when you slide this up to reveal the chamber for the replacement, it's actually not there, it's because it is located underneath the back, and it has to be extended or else you won't be able to actually twist it off. And there you see you actually reveal three stylus nibs it's very hard to see on camera because they are small you don't want to lose those so you actually get a lot of stylus nibs with the purchase of this you get a box of black marker tips and you get the three in the chamber so you can really chuck those in there whenever you want a replacement yeah and that's why this device costs 99 dollars. that's right the remarkable signature pen there's really you know both of the uh both of the nibs on the white and the black pen, so the markable signature and the stock pen, you can actually take the nibs from the remarkable signature and put them in the white pen and you get the same drawing experience, but because this marker signature is weighted, it feels better to draw with. So both of the nibs on the stock and the $99 one, they both use graphite nibs and what we noticed is that um, when you put the pen nibs on like you'll hear an auditory click and that means that the pen and is the the graphite nibs are working correctly so the pen on both of these uh, the, the them being the exact same graphite nibs interchangeable th there's no noticeable difference in when you have the nib on the screen it's the same noise it's the same torque it's the same feel in that regard all of the feel happens when you're holding the pen obviously that's the whole point of the marker signature so this pen is six grams lighter and you know what you might not think it's a big deal but when you go to write you definitely feel a difference when you're holding something heavier in your hand it does get that kind of premium uh upscale 
feel to it. So uh, in the end, I am a big fan of this remarkable signature yeah, pen. So. And nice. if you have a remarkable in your life and it's your primary device, I would probably say spend the extra dollars and buy this device or buy like the marker signature yeah. pen. It'll It'll basically make it easier to do your day-to-day -day tasks, not only just for this to collect your thoughts, um, but I, the heft and the weight makes it easier to draw, to take notes, to edit PDF files, right. and to do everything uh, that this does. Thanks for watching our unboxing and review video. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, or concerns, drop a comment below. Forgettingbeer.com and a review and unboxing the marker signature. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.